So President John Kennedy used to actually carry this poem around in his wallet. It goes like this. Bullfight critics ranked in rows, crowd the enormous plaza full. But only one is there who knows, and he's the man who fights the bull. That's President Kennedy's tribute to the proverbial man in the arena, the one who actually does the fighting. And as a nation, the way we pay tribute to those who have fought and died for our country is on Memorial Day. A day to honor and a day of remembrance for those who have paid the ultimate sacrifice for their country. For me, Memorial Day is about the summer of 2005. I had just gotten out of the active duty SEAL teams and some of my friends were still deployed on missions overseas. June 28, 2005, Kunar Province, Afghanistan. It's a mountainous region near the Afghan Pak border. A special reconnaissance team of four Navy SEALs is deployed on a mission to identify a high value Taliban militia leader target. After their insertion, as the sun's coming up in the morning, their hide sites stumbled upon by these two Afghan goat herders. The goat herders immediately alert the Taliban in the area, and within minutes, my friends are surrounded by hundreds of Taliban militia. A huge firefight ensues, and even though my friends fight for hours and kill dozens and dozens of Taliban enemy, they're eventually mortally wounded, running low on ammunition, and run over by the enemy. A rescue helicopter carrying eight other Navy SEALs is shot down on its insertion. All in all, 11 Navy SEALs died that day. It was the single worst loss in Naval Special Warfare history. And for me, it meant that I lost two of my friends who I had gone through every day of SEAL training with side by side. James Suh and Matt Axelson. James Suh was from Deer Park, Florida. Matt Axelson was the platoon sniper. He was a communications specialist. And he was from Cupertino, California. This statue behind me is a tribute to their courage and to the sacrifice they made for their nation. James Suh and Matt Axelson. That's what Memorial Day means to me.